Right. Uh, so we're back once again in Haven on Sage. I'm going to show you um, all the peaks that I learned uh, with Sage for attacking and defense. And then we can put your walls, we can put your slows. I uh, will probably call it a molly. So on Sage, it is a slow. Okay. So FYI. Uh, so let's start with C. Uh, usually people start C long. Uh, say you want to push. Say you push through doors and go to C. Go C long and then go to C. Uh, biggest problem here for people is this peak, right? Like this peak right here where it's usually going to be like an opera or like someone with a vandal. Like and they're just going to destroy you, right? What? I figured out in testing. You do have something fun over here because doors are right there. Like or opening walls right there, right? You go up here. I don't know what this is. I called it a rudder. So I'm just going to call it a rudder. Um, so you're going to go and aim at this part of the leaf, right? So there's this leaf and then there's a part over here and there's a point. You're going to aim at the lower point. Um, with your slow, you go right there and that should hit off the back wall. Yes. Hit off the back wall. And now your peaks are clear. So one of the most popular ones behind box behind the platform here and you all you have to do is clear the back platform here right if anything that'll give you enough time that should come in let's see let's start again so we'll see round starts three two one you throw it off the back wall drop and now you can peek right you can peek super easy peek peek shoot and then now you're walking up you hit here clear at this point those guys are slowed um you've cleared this top platform and now what you can do is go up here on steps wall, wall. all right there's one of the walls you can use super easy and the first thing that you do in this wall coming off of it is hit that right that is one of the most popular spots where people are going to be sitting in so you hit that right here clear that if your boys are coming out from garage, they should have this clear for you. They will clear this box for you. So after your first primary clear left, all right, if you have to reset, just go over here. You can go over here or you can go off the back wall over there. And both of that should be clear. So you hit that corner, hit top, top of the box again. And you just go through for bang, bang, bang. And, you know, just in case, bang, right? Go here, easy plant easy clap um so another way that we could do it this one is more or less reliable so say you start off you don't want or say you're gonna wait for the wall this will take a little bit more of a setup you go to this peg right here follow this tip go up about 60% mm, from here to the top so you go about 60 right there. That should hit straight down. Bang. There you go. 60%. That this is, and that would be the same. You just have to be a little bit more delayed over here. All right? So you go in, you do the same peak. You come out. You get into cubby, clear. Right? And instead of a right wall, you can actually go all the way to the bottom here and hit that right one over there. Oh, actually, wait. Where did I go? Yeah. You hit that right one right here. All right, you hit that barrier. Now you have a straight line, right? The only thing about this, you have to clear one, two, three, four, five. All right? And if you do it correctly, I think you can push yourself a little further. Yeah, you can push yourself a little bit further and you would have a clear line of sight for this guy right here once again. Okay? Um, That is see long now pushing in through doors uh this this one's a not super hard but like not super aggressive either so you start from spawn the the wall is gonna be like right here right if you have like super aggressive players they come through here like really you just give them a quick molly like right here or quick slow you stop them in their tracks go 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 you push in Alternatively, 
if there is no aggro players and you want to secure b side because you're just gonna peek one window or no one's peeking b you just go up here and i believe it's like somewhere there and that should go inside yeah roughly inside and no one's gonna be coming out here all right so after that they'll free you up to go over here like right into doors the only thing with doors is that for sage specifically you i wouldn't use any ice here because like ice what it does is slow you down right and in terms of peeking like it doesn't really stop anyone if they're already say in this corner or in that corner so i think the only useful thing here like for sage is you get a little close like roughly where th this wall is right and you can just straight up like get rid of that you just get rid of that get your angles angles and clear it you would probably need someone else i wouldn't come through like through b as sage in this way but yeah otherwise you go over here clear clear and say you don't use this wall say like you could use a molly here maybe you using like yeah slow here um i would give the same uh the same type of wall like either i go over here actually no sorry i would actually go like right side i believe i said right side yeah i would go right side and the same thing you clear here you clear here and you would have a little window there so just be careful it's clear clear and then you would help out your, your teammates coming from long c right alternatively if they already come from long c and like they're already basically on site i would do a sideways i would just not not like that but you know uh <laughs> let, let's get rid of this get rid of all of this and make sure that never happened like say they're basically on side they cleared left side right they're going left side but you don't know what's happening here i uh, would we'll just go right over here right and now you're safe here you might have a little peek over there and that's it and we all rotate into sight safe uh in terms of mollies here uh back of sight's fine so same thing go back of sight uh i think is the only option that you have here you go back a sight or i think you can probably hit one here over this wall yep and that would be that <clears throat> so now let's go to where are we at b window so window again i wouldn't peek this as sage oh no sorry one more thing so say you have a team in b window right and we want to go towards b you cleared all the doors no one's indoors windows peeking and say you just want to help them out you don't want anyone to peek um just take one of these uh this that might be short yeah he's like a little bit higher Maybe a little higher here okay um i lied let me rephrase that <laughs> you come in you shoot here You're gonna shoot right here right if that's clear you go over here this is your angle you hit that gray right there hit over that goes in it'll stall the front or you go a little bit more towards the left side all right am i okay i had this before anyway you get it this should there you go so you hit around the black and it'll go inside sight. What that does now, either freeze people on the left or on the right or left side. And you speak right here. Ow. So attacking B with Sage is a little weird because you only have one wall and you can just point like either left or right side. So generally you just go like you can just take it off to the right side here or you can be a little bit safer and take it off the wall here it'll cover the same amount of area right so you cover the right side no one's gonna peek right side you shoot left all right peek 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 all right 
you go either here make sure no one's there if no one is there you take this wall just do the sage thing and you just go in go off the wall go off the wall and this way you can come in and check gong all right check gong make sure your teammate like plants and you can just sit up here and watch your angles and you can do the same side too on the other opposite side you can play around with this you can either go i would go back of sight and then back of sight here make sure no one can rotate clear um clear and then the same thing you would just wall clear and then check sides sight do that same thing and check bong all right um yeah that's pretty much it what else did i cover um you go window window i like i said i wouldn't do window just because you can do this that's slow from window but that's about it you're vulnerable to peeking here and here and you can't use your wall like you kind of get stuck right and there's no point in using it here but otherwise you can still like hit it from right there and then you can get that slow that stops in the peak even though it's a little bit down on the stairs be a little bit more precise i would probably find out where that is but somewhere here i'm assuming yep there you go perfect all right so let's do attackers a let's 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 do a short from a main so you have or say a lobby you go short you go long right we'll do short just because like that's the most annoying one and there's really not a lot what sage can do so you come out here you come out here you have to check right your wall i believe is no i lied it's here this is the wall this is starting point right and then on ct side defender side they their walls right there so it's very easy for them to come out here and start peeking right so as an attacker if you want to prevent that if they're like super aggro uh we wouldn't use a slow here like that's just you peeking your sides you're peeking your sights over here right and same thing you pick your sights but the most annoying thing about short a is that here like this and here like these two are really annoying because they provide a lot of cover for defenders like they can just hide left and right uh once you peek you have to clear that you also have top side if someone decides to be top you have over here and you have right side left side Right, there's a lot of places where you can get killed in this corridor, so you don't know if someone is gonna be coming through here or coming through here, or just straight up like I don't know for what reason, like so over here. Or they could be up there. So the best way to attack here is that this side is the least or is the most shallow, so you won't really see or you will actually see the person here. So if you use that on a marker, you will see a person's gun or a person like sitting over here. So you don't have to co fully commit on this side. However, for this side, like you just, you have to commit because not only is this thick, like it's also really, it goes very far back. Like this is the most shallow, like I can do it. And this distance, you will miss a person. Like it doesn't matter how thick they are. So coming in here as a solo would be really challenging because you have to go bang bang you have to check here and you have to check there right if there's no one here immediately check here and then rotate bang and go up for sage like specifically she can molly either like heaven over there you molly heaven and what you can do is actually do this like right here all right, you can do here, you can clear, clear, clear sight. You got heaven and like on sight. The only thing you don't see is under heaven. All right, and you don't see anyone here. So what you could do is just go over here once everything's clear and your teammates are in. Uh, That would be the only wall I would use coming from short A. Otherwise, if you come in and you're like super confident, like you're super confident that this whole place is clear but like this people on this side is someone here 
like just wall it off just wall it off and then take take your time with your teammates go around clear everything clear your clear your lines and go over here and that would be it and then just a quick molly back a site or a ct side and that would be that uh last thing on attackers is long for sage uh you wouldn't be using a lot of mollies here or you wouldn't be using like your slows because it's very easy to defend when once people see a slow they won't actually come out so you want to make your way up to here all right you make your way up to here and generally where people are going to be they're going to be in heaven uh, heaven behind the box here yeah heaven behind the box uh now if you're degenerate over here uh it could be someone here but that's up to you to check you, you have to check that anyway um and that's that right so there's a couple places so what you could do is you come in you check if you're confident on the right side you just come out and once you turn you hit the, like what happens with molly is like <laughs> stuff like this happens where okay that was perfect but usually you hit the back and it'll drop down right here you don't want to hit like right right around there right <laughs> so you want to hit like right right around there or if you're coming in like just right, out, right up there right or stuff like that will happen so just clear the top like super easy just just go like that oh like that right to clear heaven and then you go here clear 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 and you have a couple options here you can either ice like this you ice up hit hit all right hit hit heaven's clear you go in clear that out and then you can choice of dropping left and clearing that way or dropping right and clear this way alternatively like you go up all right you go up like you hit heaven right or you hit heaven right yeah you hit heaven and then like this ice is in here right everyone's clear here your teammates are coming in through a and you know there's a person in heaven and you just want to like not have that well you just do that right and the other way i would do it is have it just straight up like right here just use wall half the site half is i clear that and then move this way Right, that way if there's someone here you can make sure like no one's here and you can clear bottom that is about that for attacking i think i don't think for attacking yeah and like i said yeah molly back a site i would generally molly like back here covers both like for retake like say like if you're gonna retake or if you're defending after planning, it'll be here. Um, yeah. Okay, let's do CT or the de defender. Defender C. So, Jose's so really good defending, right? And from this side of C, uh, a lot of people they choose like, yeah, this box, this box, or a platform, whatever. Um, back here for God knows what reason and God God knows reason what there. I I would just go behind the box here because really you're gonna be peeking here if no one is here. Like you usually make it far enough because your line is right here. Like your barrier is on this side, right? So you will always see this. Like you can start from here, you can start from here, anywhere you like. But if you see people there, just you don't have to shoot. If you can one tap, take the one tap. If not, just go back here. And what you could do is hit it off of this corner here and block that. Now what this does, you block cubby and blocks people from coming in. Like the offers would still peak, but like you just want to stall for time. If you want to just be a dude, right? If you just want to make sure the opera never comes back, you just send it back a little bit further out and the operas won't peek it anywhere. Alternatively, if you want to play the box, which in my opinion, you don't want to do because 
if you're stuck here they know you're here you're not gonna leave this box right unless like you pull off something or you have like a smoke um so i'll do the same thing it's gonna be a you could either take them all and go up here right go up here wall back of sight or i would just take it do the cubby again and what you do from here actually is just straight up wall that off right you can wall that off and they won't ever come here again or go and take off cubby but really you want to stall for much time say like they're pushing 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 just wait for them to push and then wall it off um that's pretty much that for ct honestly like peeking from like this is a really strong side for people to like just sit down on you set it from over here you can sit it from here honestly i would just take something like that or i'll take this just so i can have like, some kind of block take it from here taking let's go what's this c window c window is a place i wouldn't go sage in just because you have one angle here and you have to rotate you leave yourself vulnerable to rotating right the only thing i would do here is do a quick ice there if you know they're pushing and then that would be about it doing this peak isn't viable or isn't okay okay well this isn't gonna be viable anymore just because they're gonna be adding a curtain here all right so this is gonna be like disregarded so you don't need to use this anymore um but that would be it like you do the same thing you see like if i come out here or yeah if i come out here and say they're pushing either wall here or like if i'm on retake right say i'm on retake we go and we do something like that all right we take this and we have a little window like right here so if you see the bomb over here they're playing for long c all you have to do is go over here all right clear your angles and if there's no one here like say it's a 1v1 you could just defuse honestly like people usually come in and then they do that and then you would definitely hear them coming you just have to make sure no one's here no one's there and obviously no one's here uh now for b uh again it's not too much like this is gonna be your source of information for b like this person will tell you if people are coming through b like for the most part like from doors anyway so for b i think as a sage what do i do here as sage, you can peek here i like peeking this side or from the right side this here is irrelevant i think because of doors if they don't tell you you won't see them all right otherwise if you know they're gonna come you can just ice that super easy uh, if you're over here you're peeking window and no one's here on window but you know they're coming through doors let's go over here make it a little bit shallow you want to hit both sides like the front and the back and people don't come in anymore and if they do push like say like they're over here they're already on that side over there you just put up your wall right super easy you can come in here take people out over there or surprise them boop 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 super easy and like i said like that one will do wonders over here you can do the same on this side you can cover up this side but then you would rather cover up the entire walkway and you can come up here and play this right and you just play however you want i think for b and in terms of retake like you want to see people like i would never like slow back of gong just because it's a slow and like i said if someone's already peeking that like they're not they don't want to move there's no point so if i'm on retake i would like i'm coming over here like slow right side right or you're gonna come in and slow backside like either or and then peak gong gong is done right side and you want to make sure they don't come around here right 
So they won't peek you here. Clear, clear. Clear. All right? And you hit that. And if they're playing for plant here, uh, I hope you have a wall. <laughs> like, say, usually people plant, like, right here or, like, right here. Best thing you can do is slow that side or actually slow mid. All right? You slow mid. You slow this so people don't come and show up. And you would want to defuse like this or you want to defuse like over here mm, yeah and lastly defense on a let's do heaven because you don't really do much in heaven uh, sage heaven is you need information in heaven right so if someone's on short they have to go out and then they have to peek through lobby so if they know people are coming through A, then okay, I'm going to stay here. And if they get turned, you just go ahead and hit this right there. All right, we're going to go all the way through long. So like right about there. Or if you want, you just at least deny them the orb. And you can see orb, right? From heaven, this is not much. You just have this and that. Short is where I think I would play my Sage. Actually, wait, let's do let's keep doing long one sec. Is it short or orb control? I would be doing orb control like most of the time. Like I said, like orb over there, you should slow them down. Oops, sorry, I missed that. You slow them down. And this one wall that you could do is um you do that wall like right there. You take the orb, right? Take the orb, and then if say if they're still pushing, you take this wall and just ride them there. Alright, it's like super easy. You don't have to like put it really close or really far to get on it if you push it too far you actually won't be able to get up on the wall like like say if i put it like right over there uh, that one i don't think i can get up on or oh, never mind i could so like if you push it a little bit too far you probably couldn't like the point is you want to bring it a little bit further back so you can either have a peak over here right like here, i'll take this Right, and you take something like this. Right, you take this, and then you have like a small peak over there. And it can still push you. And <laughs> but the point is, like this wall is really good. Um, lastly, four, oh no, two things. Short A. You come out through here, and then you peek. Right, you peek. If you see someone in there, you can choose to ice it. Can ice it or you can kill them and come back if they're hard pushing let's say there's five all right someone says there's five you can go like do a wall like this right take a wall remove that or like just seal this off and if they're still coming they're rotating they went around to a um you just go ahead hit this right there that would hit it um over here this would hit orb actually like this would go up go down hit orb and if you want to go towards hallway and roughly about there yeah that would be the hallway so the hallway is like right about here and then for long you go a little bit more to the right so it'll be a little bit longer down here so that's how i would play that here like i wouldn't put the wall on this side because say you put a wall here they're still able to come out right like even though you're up here they're still able to come out now you don't know if they're gonna be here they're gonna be there they're gonna be there and it's gonna be really hard for your teammates to know um the last orb that i do right you do say like you're hitting someone say you're in retake you go ahead um they're already down here Right, they're already on site. They're like back here. They're not going to be a short A. Like for most, we're not going to be over there. If you go, first thing you need to do, orb this. You, you don't want the people down here picking you like at all. Right, you make sure like they're not going to be picking you. So you you take care of that. You take care of the person here over there. Done. Right. Then you take a person here, here, and it's your choice to either you can orb down there or orb over here. 
we'll probably take an orb over there right it'll be super easy or if you take it over here oops oh my god the orb over here jesus okay an orb over there over here and then you just clean up now say you want to clutch and then it could be a person on your right side a person under heaven uh what you could do is honestly just just do that just wall him down right but you can wall him down Like, that'll give him still, like, a little bit of a path. I'll still we'll give him a little bit of a path here. But I just like doing a little... <laughs> I don't know why, I just like doing that one. Like, like this, this is like one of those things, like, over here. So if they're on that side, you have a 50-50 chance over here. If not, they rotate around. Alright, look, usually catch them off guard. Um, same thing if they're, like... On the opposite side, you can jump and then go towards the left. All right, so say you can either jump on top of it. So say go over here. You can go in and go like and jump on top of it. Go over here and rotate. It makes it a little bit more predictable, but it gives you a little bit of a play. Mm, aside from that, I'm gonna hit this one orb for good luck, and we'll call it a video. Let's see so you get onto rudder hit this right um right there go three two one off the back ball oh my god it's so good i'm a genius all right so if you like that you want to see more videos like this don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment on what you want me to cover it's your boy flip i'll see you guys next time